All right, we turn to Robstown right now. Flooding has closed some of the area's main roads out there, and that's where we find our Iran Hemi, who continues our team coverage. And Iran, as we go out of the map right now, what are the conditions like where you're at right now? We are here in Robstown, right here on Ruben Chavez and Washington. And joining me from the drainage district, we've got Pardo Torres and Joseph Ramirez. Guys, can you just tell me a little bit about what you're seeing out there throughout Robstown today? Well, the rain hasn't let up here for the last couple of hours, and as you guys have said, there's another bank coming in. Now are at capacity, but we do have crews, and our crews are going to be working 24 hours right now to start pumping water out as soon as some of this rain lets down. But for right now, what we're doing is providing uh, high water rescue for any citizens here in and around the Robstown area if they can get in or out of their homes. Uh, we've been assisting EMS uh, and. Our chairman has contacted the, the mayor and the school district uh, to offer the assistance. What are some things you're seeing with people driving out there today? Yes, so people are, are taking chances of going to low areas and stuff. We're trying to prevent it on Facebook for them to not to go to certain streets because if not, they're going to be stuck in the water. Um, what are you also you were recommend, recommending to people out there throughout the rest of the day? Yeah, you know, uh, some of these areas might look like there's a little bit of water on there, but if they're next to a ditch, you know, it could be a little bit deeper than they think. Don't don't risk it. Uh, you know, tr turn around. You know, the saying that everybody says, turn around, don't drown. Uh, don't risk your life. Uh, if you need any assistance, call the Noises County Drainage District number two office at 361-387-4015, and we'll be out there to assist you. And you were telling me a little bit earlier that you guys had been trying to prevent something like this working up to summer. What were those efforts like? Yeah, well, for the last 45 days, uh, Chairman Torres and the other commissioners have been working uh, to get some of the stuff ready, and they've done it. As you can see back here in, in this area, also uh, uh, near near Bosques Ditches, which is where the crews are at right now, and some other areas that have been cleared out uh, uh, around the area. And we're noticing that the water is starting to flow a little bit better, and it has alleviated the problem. Now, like I said, we've gotten up at least six inches of water, expecting maybe three or four more before the end of the day. There's nothing you can do uh, about the water, but we're, we're out here trying to help alleviate the problem. Thank you, gentlemen, and good luck for the rest of the day. I hope everything works out. We find everyone still is safe. As you guys saw down here, Washington Street completely flooded. All the homes just underwater here. Some not getting water inside, but the entire yards just completely surrounded. One gentleman came out and was walking through here, and it looked like it was about waist deep on him. And I'm told that it's like this on most of the roads down here off of Ruben Chavez. So right now, we're going to check out with the drainage district. We're going to follow them around, see how their efforts are going with getting some of this water out of the bad spots. Right now, we'll send it back to you in the studio. Major flooding right there, Ron. Thank you so much. And your safety, of course, is our priority. We'll be sending you breaking news alerts on weather conditions, road closures, and more right to your phone. All you have to do is download the Chris 6 News app. It's free, and really, it is a great way to keep up with what's happening right now.